Yo, what's good everyone? It's Zigzag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video. Today we are back playing a Rural Arbitrary World, which is the newest world record category. I previously had a really good episode where I almost got like 45 or something like that. Uh, just one round prevented us from getting that score. And uh, in the meantime, Shimi has upped the current world record to 36, I believe, or 39 or something like that, around the high 30s. And also a bunch of blokes got uh, an assisted record of 50. So obviously it would be nice to beat any of those. Um, In the meantime, I did a bit of grinding I got a 34 so that's second place or third place I think at the moment but obviously we want first so I'm not submitting anything I don't think until I get first place here and the first one is Australia so yeah I'll just be explaining my thought process here and hopefully we can make a nice little street cap and, and wow we actually picked the right road there. that's very nice okay second round here uh this could be a bunch of places interesting trees obviously it's going to be somewhere in Europe um and I'm thinking you know Italy Portugal Spain probably fit in the best so far uh looks like we have a white reflector here so I think that makes Spain less likely normally they would have a yellow one uh so maybe thinking the other two are better now architecture would seem more portuguese as well so i think this is portugal not entirely sure but we'll send it in here and it was italy instead okay it makes sense um but that's okay uh, ending out on one is fine i mean we we really want to go for those big streaks anyway so if we if we, if we die early that's fine okay that was jeju fine next one here this should be a chilean pole i believe doesn't really look that typical chili but yeah when you have this kind of big uh like kind of a square concrete pole that should be pretty fine for there so i'm gonna go there was well, tamuko instead it's fine. Next one here is South Africa, probably somewhere near the Botswana border. Um, and probably the other side, yeah. There's more Generation 3 this side, more Generation 2 that side. So not really the greatest guess, but we're on 3 already. And uh, all we need to do is do 10 times more <laughs> in a row and we're, you know, we're back to PB. Okay, this one. Uh, looks like we might have the tinge of a black Google car here with the stubby antenna. That would make us in Colombia. I think I could have got Colombia anyway here. This is, uh, this is pretty pretty standard and I think it would be east of the Andes here as well probably okay not at all well you know we still got the country so that's all that matters uh next one here Sri Lanka came to mind with these kind of bollard things here on the on the bottom oh, on the ground there um hmm, what else is possible it's like interesting we got like a bunch of corn here I wonder if Guatemala could be the could be the play here they grow a ton of corn in Guatemala uh, I don't think they grow so much in uh in Sri Lanka so this could also be like uh maybe hmm I do think of Thailand and Cambodia when I see this kind of thing, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, and I guess there are like still a bunch of countries that are possible, maybe even US, although I don't think you'd find this kind of thing in the US though. Uh, okay, what have I actually liked the best here? I'm actually struggling to come up with it here. Maybe it is like Guatemala or something. Really hard to see the Google car here. Mm, you know what? After all, I think I'll stick with my initial thought, which is Sri Lanka. I'm not really sure if it could be that, but it is. Okay, nice. Uh, definitely a tough one. Most times you're going to lose that, but sometimes you get lucky, and, and obviously that was one of those times. Okay, next one here. Are we near the lake? It looks like we might have the lake there to our west almost, so I guess we could be like somewhere around here. Okay, it was instead. Well, I guess it was kind of to our west and to our east, though. Okay, that's fine. Next one here. A uh, pole top almost felt a bit like Bulgarian or something like that. Not really sure if this is Bulgaria though. It's like kind of alternating. I think you also see such pole tops maybe in like Slovenia and Austria. Maybe even, yeah, I don't know. It kind of looks like a German pole top really. Uh, could it ever be Latvia as well? It kind of looks similar to the kind of Latvian pole. Although it would be a lot of elevation for Latvia and I don't think the uh, vegetation really fits either. So then going back to our other ideas, I'm not really so sure about any of them to be honest maybe out of all of them somehow i prefer austria just because it doesn't quite feel like much and and austria has quite a bit of like interesting and diverse coverage so i might just try that here uh it's kind of a death round anyway and it was france actually that makes sense but yeah uh, it was definitely always going to be difficult next one here uh probably like um well obviously with this kind of grass growing in the middle of the road something like estonia could be possible here uh latvia too um, and then, yeah, I kind of like Latvia here, maybe. Yeah, one of the two I think is probably best. Maybe Russia's even a decent shout here. Not really sure. This is also a kind of a death round. And it was France again. Wow. So both of those death rounds appearing in France. I don't think I go France on either of those consistently at all. So I'm not too disappointed. Like, I just think it's kind of outside of my skill at this stage. Okay. Next one here, I immediately thought Brazil. Then looking at this plot, it almost reminds me more of Malaysia. So I'm trying to work out if this road is maybe a bit wide for Malaysia. I think it might be. It's interesting. We have this kind of like very Malaysian looking plot indeed. Mm, I think I got to trust it, honestly. Uh, I don't know this road and I've played a fair bit of Malaysia, but 
I'm gonna at least see. Like, where is this actually? Okay, it was Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had to be. Okay, it's Amapa new coverage right in the middle of like something. Yeah, I've never seen this before, so that makes sense. Uh, yeah, but good to keep in mind for next time. We have a very similar round this time. Similar kind of vegetation, except this time I'm, I'm pretty sure it is just Brazil. And it was Amapa again. Wow. <laughs> it was the same spot. Okay, right, guys. Well, at least I, at least I'm consistent. I, 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 said it's, I said it looks the same and it was the same. Okay, next one here, probably Brazil again. Can we, can we hit the three-peat here? Um, this this seed is so far 100% Brazil. What if, what if we got all Brazil? That'd be so sick. Uh, but let's go uh, Piranha here. Feels like decently right. Okay, let's just over there. Surely not Brazil again. Okay. Ooh, it could be. It could be. I don't think it is. I think it's like Taiwan or something. But I'm not 100% sold yet. This could actually be Brazil, um, which is hilarious. I kind of I so want it to be Brazil. I almost want to guess there, you know. Uh, but no, this... This stuff here on the side of the road doesn't really feel that Brazilian to me. It feels more like an Asian kind of vibe. Uh, it's always a weird 50-50 when you're between Taiwan and Brazil, but uh, maybe this is just wishful thinking. I think it is actually going to be Taiwan. I see I see a good amount of uh, of uh, bamboo over here, but bamboo does grow. Um, you know, they did introduce it to southern Brazil, so it could be there. Okay, well, it's Taiwan. That's, uh, as, as, long, as much as we got the country right, that's highly disappointing, I must say. And the last one here is going to be the US, I believe. Uh, although it could be elsewhere still. Double yellow lines, so yeah, should be really US here. Yeah, it's unlikely to see that in Canada too often, apart from in Nova Scotia and Quebec. So, uh, there we go. Uh, that was a really interesting seed. Let's have, see how far those two were apart. Yeah, on the same road, just uh, a tiny fraction down from each other. Disappointing that I didn't actually guess that road again, considering they look so similar, but the vegetation was actually a bit different. Anywho, here we have a single yellow line. It's very overcast. Um, this looks to be somewhere in like Guatemala or Mexico. I think the cobbler is more of a Mexican cobbler. Um, could also see this being Ecuador, but yeah, I mean, it could easily be Ecuador too. I don't think it's Colombia for some reason. She doesn't really give me that many Colombian vibes. Um, this looks like the back of the car though, because we have, if we're driving right, it has to be a right hand drive country and we don't see an antenna. So. For that reason, I'm not really sure what that means. Maybe it is just uh, Guatemala. The, the car blur doesn't feel quite right, but I think everything else looks too Guatemalan not to go there. I'll be disappointed if I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. had to be. Yeah, and, uh, and as I said, it did kind of look Mexican as well, so that makes sense. But I uh, just had to go against the car meta there a little bit, I think. Next one here is actually kind of hard to tell. I think this is just the black car. And if it's a black Google car, then really... Arge, Arge Panhandle makes the most sense here. Um, I think I do recognize it for that. Like the pines would make sense as well. A lot of pines in like Southern Brazil and this kind of area as well. So we should be good. And indeed we are. Okay, nice. Okay, next round here. Look in USA. Um, yeah, look in USA. Oh, that palm tree is interesting indeed. Okay, so I guess Argentina is possible here as well. Sun is to the south, so Northern Hemisphere. Uh, I don't think it's Mexico, so we should just be fine for the US here. But what is that palm doing? I think it's just planted. As in, like, I don't think it would, like, naturally grow there. So I feel like this is actually kind of something in here. Um, but I guess it could be California, and it is just, like, a normal palm. Uh, and it... Oh, no way! That's such a weird pole for Mexico, too. I mean, it makes sense that we're, like, barely 20 kilometers away from the, uh, border there. But wow, what a round. That's really cool, actually. Very much a, uh, a highly baity round. It did kind of look like Mexico, but at that point, I really, I really, I'm really not thinking of Mexico with that pole. Okay, next one here is Russia. Just go somewhere over here, maybe. Ooh right on the Estonian border. We had those kind of white flowers, which you find in Estonia quite often. Obviously, this episode's been a little bit less successful than the first episode, where we literally only failed twice in the whole thing. Um, I'm not really sure what I did to deserve that luck on that first one, but yeah, I don't think we actually dropped too many um, like easy rounds here. I think it's been mostly hard ones that we failed on. Okay, next one here. This is interesting. Um, I guess Argentina came to mind. I'm not really sure what this plant's about, though. That looks Australian and we're not in Australia right now, so that's kind of confusing. White rocks on the side of the road could be Spain. Maybe Spain actually works better here than South America. Sun would appear to be more southern, so that would obviously bode well for us going in Spain. Uh, but the, like, soil is so white that it is a bit suspicious, I think. And this thing, I don't really, I can't, I'm struggling to place that anywhere, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's US. I don't think it's US. Um, so I'll go Spain. I guess, I guess that's a uh, process of elimination. It was Texas. Wow. Uh, man, that's just another pretty impossible round, I want to say. Pretty impossible. Uh, next one here is the US, and this one should be California this time. Maybe around Sacramento area, something like that. Yep, very nice. And we have those kind of typical US fences. This one's chilly. Go next. Pretty easy with the, uh, 
with the Google car there. Next one here is Southern Russia. So yeah, I mean, this is highly seed dependent. Like a lot of those, like um, a lot of those high scores are just going to be like games where you get a lot of nice rounds in a row. And uh, yeah, some of these were real killers. Okay, next one here is uh, a concrete road. So obviously you do immediately have to think of Philippines and I think it should be Philippines. I mean, the fact that this like, um, this pole is made of bamboo would really suggest Philippines. Although I've seen Mexican rounds that look really similar, um, even other countries in South America as well. But uh, this, uh, this is like Definitely a plant. This one with the uh, pods I've definitely seen in, in Philippines before. So I'll try it out here. And it was near Manila there. Very much making sense there. And uh, we are what, what we're in for now or something like that. So not going too badly. So what happens on the next round here. Short antenna. Very much interesting landscape here. Like, ooh, these kind of... The, look at these, like, really interestingly and nicely shaped hills here. That's... I mean, I should recognize this, really. I think it might be Spain. Um, and if it wasn't Spain, then, yeah, then I'm struggling to think of what this could be. I don't, it's not Tunisia. Um, you know, I think it is just Spain here. I'm, I'm struggling to think of an of a, of a, of a even viable second option here, although I'm sure one exists. Maybe Greece would be the second option here. Um, yeah, it could be Greece, but I don't recognize it. So I'm going to go Spain. And it was indeed Southern Spain, man. Southern Spain has some really cool landscape, I've noticed. Uh, next one here is Argentina with the Poles. So it's nice and easy. Very good. Just go next. Uh, this one is UAE. Um, reason I'm confident about that is just how sandy it is and how dead it is. Like sandy plus dead plus this kind of dirt color is pretty good for the United Arab Emirates. And I'm, I'm struggling to even think of a second option here. So um, I feel good. I mean, this fence is interesting, but I, I would just chalk it up to like, you know, UAE having fairly diverse, you know, you know, infrastructural practices and stuff like that and building practices. So there we go. Uh, next one here, probably Austria. Um, other countries are possible for sure, but I think I would just go Austria here. Uh, the kind of pale road, the flower, the wildflowers, these trees. Okay, second option is Italy. Um, and I actually think Italy is actually pretty like viable with this pale road, but there's more landscape that looks like this in Austria, and it is Austria, very nice. Just had to be logical there. Next one here, feeling Chilean off the bat. Um, sun is to the north, so I like that as well. Um, and just like the kind of small eucalyptus uh, plantations, very common around like Concepcion, further south even. I could see this even being on the island, so I might go further towards here, um, and it was on the island. Okay, that makes sense. And we got uh, 22,900, which is obviously pretty clean as well. Okay, we're on nine. So uh, about a third of the way there to uh, getting the record, or a little, a little bit more, we need a quarter of the way there. Obviously, this is a difficult record by now already. Um, so if we're driving, it's interesting. It seems like we have no antenna here, which is maybe concerning. I'm not really sure what that would mean. Unless we're in Australia, but the cobblestone road no, doesn't fit for Australia, despite all these eucalyptus. So I would say this is Spain. Uh, Spain occasionally does have no antenna, and it looks like this is, if we're driving, ooh, it could be the case that the uh, car just didn't want to drive on this part, so we are actually just like, you know, missing the antenna, which is on the other side, but just because they wanted to drive on the more paved bit of the road, in which case we could still be in Portugal. I think I go Spain here, though. All things considered, I think it's just a better guess. So many eucalyptus, and then a European vibe as well, so I feel good. Um, ever Hawaii or something? Don't think so. Um, it's possible, I suppose, but yeah, yeah, it definitely feels Iberian, and I'll just go Spain. And, oh, it was Ecuador. Wow. That explains having no car meta. Um, and up in the hills of Quito, that's a difficult round for sure. So I don't really blame myself there. I definitely could have gotten it, but when actually, I think that was kind of an Ecuadorian pavement now that I remember after. But yeah, it didn't really help them to, if I only remember after instead of before, huh? I'll try and remember that for next time. Okay, so this is a uh, fairly standard uh, Nigeria there and uh, this one we've got the red google car so we can pretty happily send ukraine especially with that road quality okay next one here we've got the kind of low camera and those snow poles should be somewhere northern japan ish uh northern, like the snow poles you can find around the place but definitely more common in that kind of northern honshu hokkaido area next one here we have like thai uh, signage here with this bollard and the white post so making life but fairly easy here let's just go on the mountains it is in the mountains next one here Ooh. hmm Okay, immediately I thought of uh, Hungary, just with this like cinder block supporting this pole. Um, and I'm not really sure if I'm gonna get too much of a vibe off this. I mean, we're only on five, so I feel like I just go for it here. Let's see. Okay, it was Czechia. Yeah. yeah, always possible. I don't know, it's just a difficult round. Uh, back to it here. This is uh, Indonesia, not too bad. 
Uh, this one, uh, well, immediately your mind does go to Argentina. Sun is north as well, so I think you have to go Argy here. Could be other things too. And it is just Argentina. Very nice. Next one here. Um, France or England. Probably France is more likely. Kind of feels more continental climate here. Uh, road quality is relatively poor. So I could also see something more eastern here for sure. Poland is not out of the question for sure, for sure. Um, what else is good here? Yeah, I could see Poland actually maybe working better than France here. I'm not quite sure. Czechia is also not out of the question either. Um, yeah, it's just interesting. It's just interesting. It is kind of rolling. Um, I did get that UK vibe initially, so I still think I might go France here. But yeah, all three countries that I mentioned, I think, are the most likely. So let's see. And it was Czechia instead. Makes sense. Uh, definitely. But uh, yeah, I don't know. We, we lost on France earlier, so I kind of guess I had a bit of recency bias towards guessing France. Uh, but yeah. Okay, this one is US or Canada. I uh, actually get a bit more of a Canadian vibe with this poll here. So I think I'll just try it here. Uh, and it was actually just in New York, so that's unfortunate. Uh, but as, as I said, I'm never mad when I lose on zero because, you know, there's just, just no, no consequence to losing on zero. You just go again. Uh, this is interesting, though. A bit more Southern Europe. Oh, this is actually the UK. You have these kind of like little uh, plastic things on the road very often in the UK. So I'd actually say we're just in Scotland here. Indeed, we are. Um, you find them in Ireland too, but you wouldn't find that landscape there. Okay, next one here, just somewhere in Sumatra or Java. Got it. Next one here is difficult. Oh, yes, it is. Hmm. What do we actually want to go here? Very white sand. A lot of these palmish looking trees here, um, but not much too much else. This kind of looks like some of the Ecuador rounds we've had recently. Um, I think Ecuador is actually a good shot here, um, but there are other options. Uh, we're only on three, so I think I will just go with my first thought here. And okay, it was Indonesia there. Very difficult. The fence did almost give you a bit of like a Latin American vibe, but at the same time, um, you do get you do get very similar ones in Asia sometimes, like that what we, what we just saw. Uh, this should be Indonesia or Philippines. And of the two, I might prefer Philippines here actually. Yeah, it's like the abundance of palms. I think might make it better, and it is good. Okay, come on, let's lock in here. Uh, this is uh, ooh, difficult. I thought of U.S. actually. Um, the road is fairly wide, it's super cold, but for some reason it didn't really like give me too many Canada vibes. I don't know, it could be Canada. Um, if it was Europe, then maybe Sweden? I don't really think Sweden works actually, so yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Is that, maybe is that's a water tower, that like black thing there? I could see that working for US as well. Uh, no idea where this is to be honest, I'm just gonna send US and see, and it was actually, we almost got the state there, it was Kansas instead, but very, very cold looking for so far south. Uh, this is the UK I believe, these camper vans and houses look very United Kingdom, and we actually just spied a yellow plate as well, so yeah, it was always gonna be the UK. Next one here, ooh, wooden blocks on this guardrail. Hmm, I have no idea what I think of this, I th Brazil came to mind first, I'm not really sure if you see that guardrail too often in Brazil though. Um, oh, maybe it's chilly. Okay, where's the sun? Sun is more so to the south, so that would put us nor more northern hemisphere here. So what about USA? I guess USA is south is possible. Um, what else is possible? I don't, I don't know. Surely it's not Europe. Um, it doesn't feel like Europe, so, mm. Okay, maybe, I don't know. I actually, like, again, we're only on three, so I can just send here, but I can't think of anything else that makes proper sense here, like... Mm -mm. Yeah, not not Thailand, I think. I mean, no, I'm just going to go US here. Let's see it. Was Michigan. Wow. Very interesting round. I clicked Texas. I, I wasn't really guessing Texas. I was just guessing US, but I wouldn't have gone Michigan. I can tell you that much. Okay. And that last one was an easy Tunisia. So we're actually on five now, which is uh, further than we've been in a little bit. Obviously, I'm just starting to realize how great that first episode of this series was. It almost feels like <laughs> the map got harder since last we played it, but I think it's actually just the fact that, well, you know, we, we got quite fortunate with, with a lot of the rounds we had that day. Anyway, uh, maybe I will submit the 34 after all. I think it is a good score. Uh, regardless, next one here should be Brazil. Uh, these palms are ooh, a bit, bit mixed vibes, actually. I think I could definitely see, like, Rondonia working here, and it was instead just Goyas. Goyas is always possible in Brazil, I'm telling you. Uh, next one here, Chile, I believe. Uh, dirt road, very dense vegetation, definitely reminds me of Chile, could be the island again in my opinion, so I'll just go for it, and it was the island again, very nice, except I still guessed the wrong island actually. Uh, next one here, ooh, very old coverage here, hmm, okay, so Sweden and Norway come to mind for sure, 
It is a relatively thin road from what I can tell. So Canada and US are probably less likely. Still Canada is decently, decently good as well. What are these sticks? We've got a three uh, branched stick here and here. So is that a coincidence or that kind of feels like more of a European thing to do, right? I don't know, but what is, what is this really old coverage? I, I, I don't quite make out what this should be to be honest with you um and we have hills in the background so yeah very difficult honestly i think maybe sweden is the better play here but sweden really old generation two it feels a bit awkward to guess them i don't think it was uh finland either but maybe the longer i look at it the more i can see finland especially with the lower quality coverage i don't know guys this is uh i think it is europe i don't know where um, it could even be France or something wacky down there as well. It's not out of the question. But um, I guess I'll go for Finland. Even though it was my third thought, I think it actually might be better here just overall with the landscape. I'm going to try it here. And okay, well, it's just Sweden. Yeah, kind of a three-way 50-50 there. 33-33-33, 33, if you will. Okay, we'll go for one more attempt here. Whenever this streak dies, we'll end off the episode. And hopefully, uh, hopefully we can uh, make something happen here in this last streak. So first one there, pretty easy chili. Next one here, ooh, should be Mongolia, I think. Uh, we got like kind of like the squarish blur here, which is normally accompanied by roof racks. And then, yeah, we'll just be somewhere in the middle of nowhere here, surely. Yep, very nice. Okay, next one here. Uh, ooh, interesting. So it should be Brazil here with this pole. Um, wasn't really my first thought, but actually the house is looking like a bit of a South Brazilian house. So I like it. It's fine. Ooh, Amapa house. Interesting. I thought that was a kind of like landscape didn't fit, but the, uh, I thought it was a Germanic house. So interesting. Uh, next one here is probably Finland. I would say, um, lots of birches and we got the solid out, solid outer lines here, which would make me lean, um, Finland over the other options in, in, uh, kind of Northern, uh, Europe. Uh, what else is possible here? Could be Baltic, um, although it is maybe a bit like of a inclined, um, kind of drive here to be Baltic, where you normally have very flat stuff. Um, yeah, so, so I prefer it to anything else. Yeah, let's just give it a go. And it was indeed there. Very good indeed. Okay, up to four. Next one here, New Zealand. We got with that, we got, we got that antenna, which you find often in New Zealand. It should just be here or something. Okay, let's just South Island instead. So there we go. We're back up to five here. Let's make this last one count, guys. I really want to get this world record. I really do. Okay, next one here, short antenna. We've got a, ooh, this is interesting now, guys. We've got a metal pole, which almost remind me of Israel. Um, obviously Spain is well possible here too. And the short antenna doesn't really make you think of Israel, although it's not impossible to get there. Um, then with the, with the kind of like, yeah, the metal pole would fit for Spain and Israel, which is what's annoying. Those two countries tend to, you know, I guess because they have a lack of suitable timber, tend to use those ones quite often. Hmm. Overall, I think I may actually choose Israel here, but... Yeah, it's, yeah, it's one of those ones where I think this is another pretty strong 50-50. Maybe Spain's actually better. It's a ton of olives being grown here. I'm just trying to think of how, like, what the infrastructure really looks like and everything like that. Not really sure if I get too much. Um, hmm. Yeah, um, overall then, I think I'm, uh, oh, hello. This is why sometimes looking for a good uh, amount of time really helps. We have a Spanish hunting sign here. So I'm really glad I saved myself from a bad guess there. So we can go in Spain here and, and happily take our points. Okay, wow, that was really interesting. Uh, sometimes, sometimes just looking really does pay off. Okay, next one here, Senegal, uh, long grass, kind of flat, very, very huge blur here. So I think it all, it all adds up for that. We can just go here, very good indeed. Next one here, Ireland with the yellow dashes. Okay, we're starting to build a streak here. We're up to eight already. Next one is right hand drive. And I think it's uh, Chile. Looks like we are using white lines here, but the sun is so bright that it's hard to tell. Uh, the number plates look like the right length for Chile as well. So maybe just a bit of a Tomuco send could be good here as well. It was just outside Tomuco, very nice. Okay, next one here, uh, just uh, North Macedonia with these bollards. So yeah, that's also very nice. Well, up to 10 here, indeed we are. Okay, excellent, 24,000, 23,400. And yeah, we just need to uh, continue on here. Obviously, the uh, motivation not to not to end the video has uh, ma been making me play well. So let's go here. This was somewhere in Sri Lanka. Next one here is okay. These kind of turning arrows. That's interesting. Um. Okay. Definitely some conflicting information in my opinion here. It almost looks like we have a bollard built in to the uh, 
to the guardrail there, which is really interesting. Okay, then I'm looking at this sign here. It appears the back of the sign is not black, so I don't think it's Italy. I don't think these look like, we don't have any orange reflectors, so I think Spain is less likely. So maybe this is Portugal, uh, maybe it's France. Um, yeah, I mean, the bollard inside the guardrail here did kind of feel more Portuguese to me, so maybe, but the road lines almost felt a bit French. So that's kind of the 50-50 I find myself with here. Now we do have a whole bunch of eucalyptus, so I think Spain or France, I mean Spain or uh, Portugal would work better. And then, yeah, I mean, I guess with this sign, which doesn't appear to have a particularly thick red border, I would end up going Portugal here, I think. Even though the landscape is not perfectly fitting, I think I think it's the best bet here. So let's see it. And it was Portugal, very nice indeed. Okay, we're up to 12 here, best of the video so far. This is uh, some kind of a para pole, so I guess we'll just go on this road here somewhere. Ooh, all the way out here in Accra, but that's okay. I think that's the one road in Accra where you get them. Uh, next one here is South Africa with the generation four. Okay, we're building a streak here. Let's really make sure we, we, we make the most of this. Uh, this is Canada, surely. Um, we're going north-south here, but uh, that's actually over to our west. So um, I'm not really sure what I make of that, like where in Canada this should be. I think it's Quebec somewhere though. So maybe if that's kind of west, then we could go on this road or something. I don't know. Regardless, I do think this is Canada over the US. I think it's just a bit too, like the trees are too short for US. I don't think it's Alaska either. So I feel like I'm good here. It was actually all the way over in Nova Scotia, but that's good. We're on to 15 here. Okay, now we're truly halfway to the world record, so we're, we're just under. So now, now we're cooking with gas. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay, next one here, Polish bollards. Um, we got the tree rows as well and Polish architecture, so everything is adding up perfectly for Poland here. Very nice. Next one here, red dirt, kind of South American fence, so pretty easy Brazil sand in my opinion, and indeed it was. Next one here, uh, ooh, very sandy and... Almost like New England kind of feeling like vegetation here. It could be Southern. I think we have front plates. So this could be Cape Cod for, for my money or near Cape Cod. So I'm just going to go for it here. It was kind of that East Coast stuff. So that's good. Next one here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think it's Mexico. Main reason being we have this like very thick black arrow on the sign. And I think that's really what's giving me the most Mexico vibes here. Apart from everything else, like the landscape fits, but is not like super typical uh, but yeah i think mexico is is just the play there with that sign so next one here uh we should ooh, india or or actually somewhere in now was india included in this map because it's either india or it's nigeria and i think india is better i think india is better i just think i would hmm but huh, this is interesting look Nigeria is less densely populated than India. We don't see any houses here or anything. We also see um, a lot of corn plantation. I'm just trying to think, have I seen much corn plantation in that kind of northern Nigeria kind of area? So I guess you might see some in northern Ghana. I'm just trying to think of like equivalent like kind of landscapes here. Honestly, I'm not too sure. Like the trees and everything, I'm quite unsure. The sun is to the south, so obviously both countries fit in for that. Um, I, we already saw this kind of camera quality in in Nigeria before, so that's already making me lean there because I don't think I've come across any India on the map while well, I've been playing it for quite a while. So that intrinsically is pulling me in the direction of Nigeria. However, the landscape and everything, I can't lie, maybe I prefer India for. So yeah, definitely leaves me in a bit of an awkward spot here. Um, okay, these cows. I mean, cows are super common in India, right? It's like the sacred animal of northern India. And this would be somewhere in the north of India as well. So maybe that does fit better. I mean, it, it also doesn't feel that dry, which is what you'd normally see with this coverage in Nigeria. So, uh, and that might be a motorbike, which would obviously fit better for India. So, gosh, guys, it's rather unpleasant this round, but I think I have to send India just based on landscape and everything. Um, oh gosh, I'm gonna feel so like annoyed if this is wrong, but I'm gonna go for it. Let's see what it is then. Come on in. Oh, it was Nigeria. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it just goes to show that sometimes even that terrible camera can actually produce some really interesting rounds. And Kano, as you can see, it's in the desert here. So that's also why I was kind of thinking like, obviously most of the coverage is up there and to get it this green is kind of rare, but probably this shape of blur 
is what you find in Nigeria instead. So definitely an interesting last one to finish this off there. And, uh, you know, obviously would have been much easier had been, we been facing any other direction. But I think I'm going to guess uh, next time I see this camera quality, I'm going to guess Nigeria regardless. Okay. Thank you very much for watching the video all the way to the end, guys. Um, it was 19 to finish off today's video, but hopefully next time we can pull an even better score and uh, get that world record. Okay, guys, till next time and goodbye.